my fellow opinion villagers, today is December 9th, 2015, and it's International Anti-Corruption Day and Weary Willy Day. Famous dead people celebrating their birthdays today are actor comedian Red Fox, actor Margaret Hamilton, comedian Emmett Kelly, and actor Dick Van Patten. And now on to your questions. First up, the St. Clair family asks, intimate question for the meaty one. No, it isn't. It's not a question. And yes, it is. Microbloganism asks, intimate question for Gary. So how big are everyone's junks? You know, Micro, you're not the first person to want to know how big everybody's junk is. And I'm just not going to spew it all over the internet. Maybe we could make it as like, you know, premium content or something where you have to pay to find out how big everyone's junk is and then there's pictures of it. I bet you pervs would like that, wouldn't you? Actually, I would kind of like that too. Everybody's junk all this way. We'll call it opinion junk. We'll start up our own website. There'll be pay gates, depending on how popular everything would be. I would imagine that Oswald's and, uh, and probably Bob Satan's junk would be the most popular. Like a $15 pay gate to see Oswald's junk. I quite suddenly felt really dirty. I'm gonna go take a shower. Why don't you ever stop me when I get bad ideas like that? Natestar555 asks, intimate question for me, Jason. How's Fallout 4? I don't know how Fallout 4 is because I haven't gotten it yet. In fact, I don't even have a platform to play it on yet because I haven't upgraded to, you know, the next generation of gaming platforms. But as soon as I do, I'm going to be playing that. And probably Destiny. And also The Last of Us. And a whole bunch of other games that I missed out of. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the channel because as soon as I get that platform for Christmas, you're not going to be seeing me ever again. What you'll probably be seeing are a bunch of lifeless puppets just filmed laying around in the garage. Because I'm going to be too busy playing Fallout 4. So I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. I'm going to be getting Fallout 4 and this channel is going to disappear. It's going to disappear for good. Not really. I'll play it soon enough. Caro Koinich asks, intimate question for AJ. Is it just my perception, or is every current Republican a comic strip, Austin Powers type supervillain? It's not you, you're just being very perceptive! All of the Republican candidates came from the same villain factory, where villains are manufactured for the public to consume! Granted, this current roster of villains came from very poor molds. In fact, most of the molds were really bad, and cracked, and there was a lot of flash. And no matter how many times we recast Trump, his hair was always bad. Zelina Davis asks, intimate question for Reverend Fundy Q Monster. Is there a correlation between Peter denying Christ and modern hipster denying hipsters in your opinion? Look, weirdo clown face, I ain't playing your little games when it comes to the b-b-b-bible, alright? This is what I have to say about hipsters. Screw them. What have they contributed? Nothing. Except maybe they invented some sort of ukulele that can double as a shot glass or some other gross garbage that I don't care about. Nope, not me. I don't care about hipsters at all. Now, well, when it comes to Peter, I've got a lot to say. But you ain't getting it here. You want to hear what I have to say about Peter? Then come to the First Monsterian Church at 8 o'clock on Sunday, sit in a pew, and listen to the good news. And I'll slip you some of that good Peter right in your pocket. What are you snickering at, Mabel? What did I say? Yeah, I said I was gonna put some of my Peter in his pocket. Oh. Oh, that went horribly wrong. You know what I mean. Oh, jeez. When are we gonna cancel this segment? I'm tired of it. People always asking me embarrassing questions, then I stick my foot invariably in my mouth whenever I start talking about putting Peters in people's pockets. Angel fits me asks, intimate question for Flesh Jason. Will Sass and Fundy ever have an on-screen revealing of their sibling status? What are you talking about? Sass and Fundy don't look anything alike. I mean, this is what Sass looks like. And this is what Fundy looks like. Do you see any similarities in their uh, appearance at all? Number one, one of them's a girl. And the other one is a guy. Number two, I think they have like a 10 to 15 year age difference. And number three, you know what? That's kind of racist. Just because a puppet has the same skin color and the same eyebrow color and the same eye color and the same head shape doesn't mean that they're related. They're different puppets and they're not all, not all monsters are the same. Man. Expand your mind, why don't you? 
Sure, they look maybe a lot alike. A lot alike. Okay, that's it. Remember, if you have a question you want to ask into big questions, leave it down below in the comment section. Until next time, my radical little reindeer, this has been Jason with a D. Oh, Trudeau here with even more suggestions for what you could have done instead of watching YouTube. Morgan Ravenwolf says, instead of watching YouTube, I could be buying Christmas presents for my kids, whom I miss and love more than I have words to express. Fickle little ingrates who won't even talk to me after their narcissistic sociopath of a father who doesn't like my online relationships poison their minds against me. Sigh. At least I still have my online friends to love me and give me support, right? Friends? Hello? Hello, Morgan! It's me, your true love! I will always love and support you! Tell me who I have to kill and I'll kill them! Give me enough sacks for your children and I shall put them in them and deliver them to you! And then I will beat the ingratitude out of those little brats! How dare they! I will fix everything! I'm going right now! Wait for me!